what you guys today we're taking a look at how to fix a common windows sleep mode issue and we're going to be taking a look at some steps that you can take to try and resolve it now quite a few people do use the sleep mode i personally don't but a lot of people do use it and this is how you can resolve it now first off go to your settings system and power and then inside here make sure you've got your uh, screen and sleep set up exactly how you want them and this is uh, how you want to set yours up you can set them up here once you've got that, you've got some helpful from the web here, adjust power and sleep settings. There's some links that you can click on that will help you understand how to change all this stuff. Okay, let's move on to the next thing here. Go to search and then type in here power. Once you type power in, you should see edit power plan. Click on edit power plan. This will open up the edit power plan settings window. You've got some settings you can change here, which we just took a look at in the other menu system. Click on change advanced power settings here. And from here, this is where you can change what your uh, power settings do. For instance, turn off your hard drive after so many minutes, you can have this set. You don't want your hard drive doing any sort of activity and then waking the computer up. So you can set that up to how you like. Inside the sleep settings here, you can have some other settings which you can uh, set here, which is sleep after and also allow hybrid sleep and things like that. This is where you need to set this up here. So I would turn off hybrid uh, sleep here. Now, another one is make sure your USB settings are enabled here. If you have this set to disabled, you'll probably find that all your devices that you have plugged in, your peripherals, uh, will constantly ping the uh, computer and wake up the computer. So make sure that this is set to enable because when you have this disabled, it can cause a lot of problems and it will constantly wake up the PC. Same thing goes for the PCI Express here, the link state power management. You'll probably see that this is set to a moderate power savings here. You want to set this to off. There's an offset in here. And if there's a battery underneath uh, there, which says plug in or something like that, set that to off as well. The battery also needs to be set to hibernate and any sort of uh, plug in for that uh, laptop. If you're using a laptop, you need to also set these to hibernate or off you don't want to wake anything up once there's a, a device all plugged in or any movement at all now also we have a usb selective suspend setting that is on enabled also hibernate after setting that says never make sure that's on hibernate and we also want the hybrid sleep off so make sure you turn that off and then once you've got these set up and the battery settings set up to how you want them there you'll see battery settings if you do have some sort of uh, laptop you need to set that up separately because this is a desktop pc next up we're going to go to our control panel here and inside control panel we need to go over to our uh, power settings again so go power options here now when you click on power options you can see we're still on uh, balance which is fine we need to choose what the power button uh, do and basically click on this now if you're on a laptop make sure the when i press the power button that's set to hibernate and when i press the sleep button it goes to hibernate we're on the desktop here so we're we'll leaving that is once we're here we want to make sure turn off fast startup is off if you're on an older laptop or an older pc you want to make sure that's turned off because that can cause problems uh, with uh, sleep mode and it can also cause issues waking it up as well Sleep and hibernate here. You can see there's uh, two options that I've got unchecked marked here. You'd want, obviously want to check mark these uh, if you're using sleep mode. And once that's done, you can move out of this option and move on to the next option. Go into device manager by right clicking on the start button here. And once you're inside device manager, another key problem here for sleep mode uh, is the actual power, waking up on power. So you go onto the mouse and click on properties here. And uh, inside here, power management, you should see allow this device to wake up the computer. If your mouse moves, if it moves at all or it gets bumped, it's going to wake it up. And you want to make sure that is unchecked because you don't want it to move and wake up the PC. Uh, same thing for your laptop or anything like that. If you have a, a peripheral plugged into it, it's going to cause an issue and it will wake up. Sometimes they just wake up by their own little movement. And away you go. Printers are the same thing. I don't have a printer plugged in here, but if I did, I would make sure that this doesn't uh, wake up the computer either or wake up the laptop. So if you're using a printer, make sure you go to the power management settings and also make sure that's not going to wake it up either. So any of other sort of uh, process in here that can wake up the computer, you want to take the power management setting and make sure you take off 
uh, those um, power setting modes here because otherwise you're going to run into issues. Another one is inside network adapters, your Ethernet connection or Wi-Fi connection. Go into properties of it and go to power management and you can see here, allow this device to wake up the computer. Make sure that is uh, turned off. Take the check mark out of that because any sort of network activity, uh, it will ping your computer or ping your laptop and it's going to wake it up and you don't want that. So make sure that is off there. Otherwise, you're going to end up with issues. This is common uh, with a lot of this. You can see how much uh, work you have to go into to stop this causing issues. And this is why people have loads of issues with uh, waking up the PC or having trouble waking up the PC. Now, let's go to uh, change screensaver. This is another one that causes issues. If the screensaver is enabled, of course, what will happen is it can actually trigger the computer or the laptop to wake up. So make sure you've got this set to none and this will then obviously stop that from working. Again, you can change power settings from there as well and we can close that off and move on to the last section here. So I'm going to go down uh, to the search and we're going to type inside here CMD, right click and run this as administrator. Once this opens up here, you can put this command inside here, power CFG space uh, dash requests and this will tell you what is using power you can see here there is something on my pc that is running you can see here the driver legacy uh, kernel caller and also i've got some audio here that is running in the background an audio stream is currently in use if this is enabled and this is using uh, your pc basically it's going to wake up so you need to make sure and disable all of those features. It might be just a dongle you got plugged in. Take that out. Otherwise, it's going to wake up your computer. Let me remove that dongle, which is my headphone dongle. And I will do another command to see whether it is running again. So once I remove this, this uh, Logitech Pro X wireless gaming headset here, you can see it's currently in use. And I'll do the request again. Now I've removed the dongle and you can now see there is nothing using the power here. And that's exactly what you need to do. So make sure you run all of those commands. Otherwise, if you don't, your laptop or your desktop is going to keep waking up. And that's what's going to cause you issues there. And this is another common problem that people have. Also, the laptop or desktop not waking up. This can cause issues as well. So make sure you turn off uh, those features there. So let's move on to the last thing here. I can now... Do a quick command in here. Let me just try one more time here. CLS. I'm just going to make sure that it's not running. Okay, that's good. Everything's set. And you should see the system display or none of that stuff is causing any issues. And for the last command, power CFG or power config space dash last wake. And this will tell you a big list of what is waking your computer up. This will be wake history count. And it will tell you what is basically waking up your laptop or your PC. And you can then rectify it to stop that from happening. Okay, so now we've completed this, let's go ahead and do the troubleshooting uh, thing here if you're having issues. So open up the search and type trouble or troubleshoot. And you should see the troubleshooting uh, section here. So troubleshoot settings inside here, we are looking for other troubleshooters here. So click up the other troubleshooters and then we're looking for the power uh, here so go to power and then we can run a scan on the power configuration here and it will check your pc time before display goes to sleep is too long and they fix it so if you've got any other issues there it will try to fix and resolve those uh, shutdown sleep mode sort of uh, issues and this is what you want to do really to run this if you're still having issues so once you've got that, make sure all of your system is fully updated. You do not want any sort of request for updating or nag boxes or anything like that running in the background uh, because what's going to happen is this will obviously wake up the computer or wake up your laptop. So make sure you're fully updated on Windows. Don't want any pending updates waiting or things like that. Also, make sure all your drivers are updated if you're still having issues. This can also cause issues where there's a request for an update and it keeps waking the PC up. So make sure you're fully updated on your chipset drivers and also your uh, LAN and wireless drivers. Make sure they're all updated and that way any sort of requests for updates that might be available can wake the laptop or PC up and cause more problems and drain the battery and other things like that. So make sure 
that's all set. You can go to the manufacturer's website or the creator of that laptop or desktop PC, and you can download all the drivers from there. Now, go into the device manager here, and you can right-click, say for instance, we can right-click on this uh, LAN uh, driver here. Looking for is the driver uh, section, and in here, it will tell you the driver date and the driver version. And all you need to do is cross-reference that with what's on the website, and you can see that this is outdated. Now, of course, you don't really want to leave that outdated because that can ping and wake up the laptop or the PC. So make sure all these are updated. And you can do this for any of the drivers. Now, if you're still having some issues uh, with the sleep, then also check the BIOS uh, updates. If you've got a BIOS update available, then you may need to take it because this might rectify the problem. So you can go in here and check your BIOS version. You can see here, this BIOS version is 4403 and the date was the 2022 and it gives you 05 and it will give you uh, the date or day that it was released, which is the 31st. You can then open up CPU-Z or CPU-Z, depending on what part of the world you're in, open this up and this will tell you on the motherboard tab what BIOS you have on your motherboard here. You can see, click on this one and it will tell you exactly what brand and what version. You can see we're already updated 4403, but if you're running an older system, you may have an update for your BIOS available, and it might be viable to update that because obviously that might rectify a lot of problems uh, with that motherboard or with that system. So that can resolve a lot of uh, things. You can also use driver view, and this will also give you all of the driver information at a, a glance. So you can see here all of the system drivers will be viewed here and you can go straight down the description here and the version and this will tell you exactly what version they are and what description they are again not 100 necessary you can use device manager but this just gives them all under one place and you can see them at a glance it just makes things a little bit easier so you can get this uh, off of the internet there are soft website you can download it from there and basically use that tool to find all your driver information Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. Hope this one helps you out and resolves your issue. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. This does work for Windows 11 and Windows 10 and other versions of Windows as well. Anyway, with that said, I just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Hopefully, I will see you on the Discord server for a chat. Catch you in the next video. Bye for now.